federal regulators stepped in to save the failing First Republic Bank over the weekend, selling its assets to J.P. Morgan Chase. And Russian missile strikes injure 25 people in central Ukraine overnight. Good morning. I'm Korva Coleman from NPR News, and here are today's top stories. A third bank has failed this year in the U.S. Federal regulators acted to save the collapsing First Republic Bank over the weekend. They sold it to global bank J.P. Morgan Chase. First Republic's troubles surfaced after two other banks in the U.S. with similar problems were taken over in March. These problems got worse last week. Brookings Institution senior fellow David Wessel says people who have money in the bank now have been protected. A lot of First Republic's deposits have already taken their money elsewhere, but Mm. there's $90 billion still there, and that money is safe. There are now deposits at J.P. Morgan Chase. He spoke to NPR's Morning Edition. But unlike depositors at First Republic, the bank's investors are not protected and will lose their investments. Russian missile attacks overnight injured 25 people in central Ukraine and damaged an industrial warehouse near a railroad station. NPR's Joanna Kikissis reports from Kyiv, Russia has stepped up attacks on Ukraine ahead of a planned Ukrainian counteroffensive to push out Russian forces. Ukrainian air defenses shot down 15 of the 18 Russian missiles aimed at the capital, Kyiv, and other Ukrainian cities. But at least two hit an industrial facility in the central city of Pavlohor sparking a large, powerful fire there, according to Sergei Lusak, the head of the local military administration. The blast injured 25 people, including three children. A Russian installed official in the occupied Zaporizhia region wrote on Telegram that the missiles targeted railway infrastructure and a fuel depot in Pavlohrad. The attack comes after a Ukrainian drone hit an oil storage facility in Crimea, which Russia occupied in 2014. Joanna Kikissis, NPR News, Kyiv. In South Texas, the city of Brownsville has declared a disaster with the arrival of a huge influx of migrants across the border. Texas Public Radio's Jerry Clayton reports. Border Patrol officials say in the eight days leading up to last Friday, more than 15,000 migrants crossed over into the U.S. into the border town. Gloria Chavez is a Border Patrol agent for the area. And we start noticing the majority of that uptake is related to Venezuelan nationals, many of them, as you know, who have been waiting south of the river in encampments there in that location. Chavez says the area's two major holding facilities are already well beyond capacity. The influx comes before the end of Title 42 on May 11th, which allows the U.S. to immediately return migrants across the border. Officials are expecting an even larger surge of migrants. I'm Jerry Clayton in San Antonio. Officials in Texas have issued an $80,000 reward for information leading to the arrest of a man wanted in the shooting deaths of five people. The suspect, Francisco Oropesa, is accused of killing his neighbors, one of them a child. You're listening to NPR News.